Hi, I'm Alemi from EAO Botanica. Welcome back. I am so happy to see you guys. Thank you so much for these great comments. I so appreciate you guys participating in our channel, supporting us, sharing us with others. Love it. Remember, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, put your email address at the link below so that you guys can be our exclusive people that find out about our trainings and our events before anyone else. Today, the much video that you guys have been asking for, black salt. Woo! Better be careful who you use this on. This is gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about black salt. I'm gonna do a demo on how to make a versatile version of black salt. So let's get to it. In this video, we're going to transform regular salt into black salt for protection and for hexing. And for those of you who like to do a little uh, dark work, who like to be on the edge, this is a basic recipe and you can add whatever you like to amplify it in the direction that you want. So um, black salt, this type of black salt that we're gonna talk about today is really not edible. Um, I don't encourage you to eat it. If you want to try eating it, it's fine. It does not have any nutritional value. Um, it can disrupt your spiritual frame. So one of, one of you guys in one of the videos talked about, um, in a comment, I believe, mentioned that you bathe with certain things that are really for hexing. And so if to try to take away a hex. I would say that you may want to do that with caution. Definitely know what you're doing just because uh, if you don't have someone to ask, oh, is this good for me to do? And I love you guys. Unfortunately, I can't answer all of your questions. I try my best. So in the video is where I really try to answer a lot of the questions that you may have that you may put in the comments. But I would say when in doubt, leave it out, especially when it comes to putting it on your body or uh, in your mouth. So there are two types of, of salts, as I talked about, that's black. One is an edible black salt found in nature. One is the one that we're gonna spice up today, right? And this uh, black salt, uh, if you were gonna put a planet with it, it would maybe, maybe be Jupiter because Jupiter is a planet that uh, has a fair amount of sulfur and sulfur is one of the ingredients that we're gonna use today. Uh, so historically, black salt has been made by a lot of different types of people in terms of people who do conjure work, hoodoo work, spiritual, spiritualists that make things, some herbalists will use it. Anyone who kind of does spiritual work that knows about these ingredients and or work for other people. So that's one of the reasons why it has become so popular and well known. Even in Wiccan circles, people use black salt and a lot of Wiccans I know make black salt. So all different spiritual paths, in addition to anyone can make it and anyone can use it. It's not associated with any particular religious or spiritual system per se. Black salt is oftentimes used for protection. That's one of the first reasons, right? For protection, for banishing, keeping something away, for courting off a space or gating off your place, right? Or a space, if you will, for blocking. Um, it's also used to cause harm, to cause chaos, to cause problems. Right? It's also used to get rid of negativity, people, places, and things, right? So black salt can be used in, in both ways. And so this is one of the reasons why I mentioned today, I'm giving you a very versatile recipe that you can make more of something or less of something else, right? So we're kind of staying in a little bit of the generic place. Lots of you guys know how to make this in different ways. I know easily 10 ways to make this. Today, we're gonna to stay right here in the middle for those of you guys who want to use it for multiple purposes. 
So we're gonna get to that. I'm gonna start the demonstration now. So get your little notes. This will be quick. You may even keep it in your head, but for those of you guys who like to write things down, this is a great time to start taking some notes. So let's get to that part. This is ash from burning charcoal for incense. I like to tell people use everything you got, use what you have, right? Here's ash from a cigarette, ash from a, um, a cigar, ash from a cone incense, right? Here's ash again from a mixture of cigars, lots of cigars, um, smokables, all different things you've got here. We have charcoal. This is activated charcoal, which if you have hard charcoal, you can mash up. I personally like to put charcoal because it's very, very black. I've seen people also use black mica powder. You're free to use black mica powder. I personally like to use charcoal because charcoal already has a strong vibration of just, just making it charcoal. Um, we also have here uh, kosher salt, fine kosher salt. This is black salt already made that we have in the store. I'm gonna add a little bit of that here in the Botanica. We have some sulfur. I'm going to take this container and I'm gonna start building it in here. I'm not gonna grind this up for the interest of time because we already have activated charcoal. So just for the sake of conversation so I can show you guys what you would be doing at home, you take your charcoal, you try to take your ash. And one other thing that I wanted to add, just to kind of spice it up a little bit, is cayenne pepper. So normally you can use a mortar and pestle, but for the interest of time, I'm using something that's already in powder form, but you at home would turn it into as much powder as you like, right? So as you can see, this is the back side of the charcoal. It's already getting very dark and we haven't even added the salt to it. So this is just incense powder, ash from charcoal and charcoal, right? So now I'm gonna add some more ash. This is really, really, really easy to make. You can put it also, um, if you're doing a protective bag for someone, you can put it in a mojo bag, spirit jar. Those of you guys um, seen my chill out jar, if anybody wants me to make a protection spiritual jar that's easy and small that you can carry, comment below, right? Love your comments and I'm all about your great suggestions. So we've got some activated charcoal here. Do we see how black this is becoming, right? So for the sake of the video, I'm gonna add a little bit of the pre-made black salt that we already have in the store, just so you see. See, it's already black and very beautifully crystallized. So you could buy this just like this. Um, if you're making it at home, you would have it looking like that, but for the sake of the video, just to spice it up, I added some in there for you, right? I'm gonna put a little bit of sulfur and sulfur is great for purification, for warding or guarding an area. Those of you guys that watch the sulfur video, you would have seen, we learned a little bit about sulfur, one of the most natural occurring minerals in the world. And it's definitely the third most abundant mineral in your body. So I'll put a little bit of sulfur, not too much, because we don't want it to look too white, right? I'm gonna put some cayenne pepper, because for those of you guys who like all that hot stuff, you know who you are. I like you guys who are like, oh, Lemmy, where, where's, where's the hardcore stuff? So now I'm giving you just a little versatile one that you can make a strong, 
as you like. I'm gonna use some regular kitchen cayenne pepper, right? I believe, use what you got. Sometimes spiritual ingredients can be very difficult to locate, um, especially now with Rona going on. There are a lot of things that are hard to find. So I like to teach you guys about things that are easy to find, that you can empower yourself and you can do things, right? Um, I don't know who's watching this video, but Spirit is telling me that there's someone who has a problem with a neighbor minding their business. I'm not sure who that is, but Spirit is telling me that someone who's watching this video has a neighbor that's been minding their business a lot. You can over the fence. You can sprinkle some on the border of where you are and where they are and just make a prayer about let them mind their own business. You know, because if they were really focused on their life, they definitely wouldn't have time to be focused on yours. So put out that vibration that they are so busy with what they've got going on, they don't have time to think about you. So we've got here a little bit of black salt, we've got ash, we have sulfur, we have our cayenne pepper, and now we've got our kosher salt. So this is just for you to make as much as you want. And for me, I like to keep spicing it up. So when I use it up, I just use some more. This may be a part of my um, giveaway. Some of the things that we do in the videos, I give them away in the store. So I'm going to put a little bit more ash. And again, you at home can work this as much as you want. You know, you can pray. You can take this as a base because, as I mentioned, this is a versatile one. So you can take this as a base, take a portion of it, and make that for the hardcore stuff. And there you use the lighter version for um, where you are at home for easier, more protection work and less hexing, all right? Definitely, I wanna hear from you guys what you think. If you thought this one was pretty easy to do, pretty straightforward, and any suggestions that you may have. Again, we sell this in the store, so for people who, you know, maybe a little bit intimidated against making it, or not have all the ingredients, you're welcome to check us out and purchase them. So, showed you guys how to make some black salt for hexing and for protection. I want to hear your comments and see your comments below. Remember that link to be a part of my exclusive YouTube channel, people, that you guys get to find out about all the trainings and all the events that are coming up. Remember, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, share us with others, and continue to empower yourself with spiritual tools and spiritual knowledge. Thanks so much. See you next time. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, definitely like us. Give us a thumbs up, share us with others, send us your comments, come visit us in the store, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time.